Hi, I'm Olga, co-founder of TRC, Thermal Recycling of Composite. Do you know what have in common wind blades, planes, boats, some cars and the bikes? They are all made of composite. They are made of fiber and resins. And the use of this composite is increasing at about 12% every year because they, are, they have very good features such as mechanical properties, stability, durability, and so on. But they also have three main problems. They are very expensive, mainly due to the high price of the carbon fibers. They have a very high environmental impact because they are very hard to recycle it and a high, have sorry, a high management cost. Those are the reasons why these composite materials are now dumping landfills. This, in this case, the way they are wasting the fibers that inside the composite because there is no technology now that can recover it. For example, wind industry has already dumped only in Europe two million tons of this kind of waste. That's why we, TRC, have developed our R3 fiber, a technology, a thermochemical technology that can transform the waste into high quality fibers, at least with 70% of the initial mechanical properties, and also as byproduct, we can obtain fuels and energy. Our target market are, on one side, the wind industry that generates blades every year, 4,000 blades every year is generated in Europe, and on the other side, the fiber reform composite industry that pay a high price for the fibers, and also these fibers had a high fo carbon footprint. We can reduce the, compo the composite waste cost management in a 34%, contributing in this way to the circular economy because wind industry, for example, the only waste that cannot recycle it is wind blades, this kind of composite. And on the other side, we can also reduce the price of the fibers in at least 25%, and we can contribute also to reduce the carbon footprint, reducing the emission in five years, we can achieve reduce 25 million tons of CO2 to the atmosphere. This is thanks to our team with experience in management, development, research, and also in production, very important in our, in our sector. We can achieve in 2019 our first positive EBITDA with a sales of around half million euros. And after the, our internationalization process, we will achieve an EBITDA of almost five million euros. Don't allow composite materials be the environmental problem of the future. Thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thanks for that. Um, can you go through a little bit more about like the, the actual sort of what you do now? Because it was a bit of vague on sort of the status I found on, on exactly where you are today, the status of the company. Yeah, we have a small pilot plan now about maybe 10 kilograms. And we are designing a bigger one about a, a capacity of 100 tons because we understand that we need to do that step to can afford all the ways that are in Europe. And how fast can you grow from that? So, so uh, how long will it take sort of to, before you sort of properly sort of industrialized? We plan to build this plan uh, at the beginning of the next year. Maybe in March is already, I hope, finger crossed. And from then, we plan to have alliance with other companies that already are recycling at different points on Europe. Um, we can grow very fast with Joyan Alliance, with Bentour Alliance. If no one has anything else, then I'll go on defensibility again. That's my, my main topic. How do you defend this? Like sort of IP, patents, how do you make sure that no one else yeah, does what we are patent here? pending for our tech, a PCT patent, and also have an industrial secret already signed in Spain. Thank you. Thank you, Jury. Thank you.